The fate of a man who witnesses say was wildly wielding a knife at a homeless man and a Fresno police officer was decided by a single bullet. And the police officer came up, asked him to put down his weapon, and he didn't. And so he shot the man because he was coming at him with a knife. Before the man waved his knife at police, witnesses say he was chasing this homeless man known as Phil. Locals say Phil is a familiar face on these streets, but the unidentified man with the knife was not. He looked like he was either intoxicated or under the influence. Was he familiar to you guys in this area? No, he was no, not familiar with anybody. So nobody knew who he was? Nobody knew who he is. Fresno Police Chief Jerry Dyer says his officer feared for his life during the confrontation. Uh, the officer then retreated behind his motorcycle and continued to backpedal and the uh, suspect armed with the knife continued towards him and in fact at one point as described by a witness, a citizen witness, the suspect was holding the Bowie knife above his head uh, telling the officer to shoot him. The officer fired one round from his department-issued gun, a move that is drawing criticism. Stop the killing. This could be unit a group of protesters yelled and held signs during the police chief's news conference with reporters. They claim more than 50 people have died at the hands of officers since Dyer became chief, and more than half of them are Latinos. This latest officer-involved shooting casualty is a Hispanic man. Those who watch the events unfold are also concerned about the level of force used in this situation. Could have shot him maybe in the leg or in the arm. I mean, that's like uh, something that he should have done. But, uh, I mean, he was like maybe four feet away and shot him in the chest. Done that. There was another officer coming up very quickly. He could have tased him. He could have done several things. 